call it a uniform or just exercise clothes, but the gear you wear is actually a second skin, and it's a multi-billion dollar industry. But does it really work? When it comes to athletic performance, can what you wear really affect how well you do? Nowadays, most athletic clothing is focused on getting rid of sweat. The buzzword is wicking, using fabric that moves sweat away from the body to keep us dry. But could that actually be the wrong way to deal with sweat? To find out, we jumped over the pond to visit a laboratory in Switzerland. AMPA is an independent facility that tests materials, textiles, and technologies for clients like the Swiss military. Here in this lab, they're testing clothing made by a company called Xbionic. The makers of Xbionic clothes believe there's a better way to design athletic apparel, a way to turn sweat into energy. If you just ask yourself the question, why do we sweat? And what sense does it make to take the sweat away from the body? Then we wouldn't sweat, you know, the evolution would have developed a human being without sweating. To examine the evolution of sporting apparel, sports science host John Brinkus will begin the test wearing regular workout gear. He'll go for a run on the treadmill in this one-of-a-kind climate chamber. So I'm wearing just a normal workout shirt, the kind that everybody wears in the gym. Now I'm gonna run in 125 degree heat. Before he starts his workout, John will swallow a high-tech pill. This is actually a wireless sensor. I'm gonna take my thermometer pill so that we can monitor my core body temperature. While the temperature we feel on the outside, on our skin, is important, it's the body's core temperature, deep inside, around the heart and organs. That's critical. If the body core temperature goes above 4 degrees Celsius, at one stage you will not be able to control your muscles uh, anymore, or it can be even more dangerous and go to a heart attack or a complete collapse of the, of the whole thermoregulation system. Let's fire this up. Let's do it. It's time to find out how bad of an idea this actually is. Oh my god, that's hot. I feel like I could cook something right here. The climate chamber immediately climbs to a scorching 125 degrees Fahrenheit. It's hot, very hot. The ingestible sensor indicates that John's core temperature is spiking quickly. In only seven minutes, climbing from 98 to over 100 degrees and rising. I've only been running for a, a few minutes. I feel like I've been running for hours. I've never run in heat like this. John's clothing is wicking the sweat away from his torso. So it evaporates not on his skin, but on the outside of his shirt. Our thermal imaging camera reveals that it's not helping his body maintain thermal regulation. I'm on minute 12. I don't know how much longer I can make. John's core temperature is now over 102 degrees. If it climbs above 104 degrees, John could suffer heat stroke kidney damage, and even brain damage. I don't know how much longer I can go. Oh, I'm really dizzy. With less sweat left on his body to evaporate, John's feeling weak because his body is using all of its resources just to cool down. Very simply, our body only can perform with a core temperature of 37 centigrade. And he takes nearly all his energy to keep this regulation. After only 14 minutes on the treadmill, in 125 degree heat, disaster strikes. You okay? Are you all right? <sighs> 
just got really dizzy. I don't know. I just kind of lost my footing, I think. Can we stop for a second? The sensors inside John's body indicate that his core temperature peaked at a dangerous 104 degrees. In less than 20 minutes, he lost over a quart of sweat and became seriously dehydrated. So could John's clothes have actually contributed to his collapse? The makers of X-Bionic Sporting Gear believe that moisture wicking, moving sweat away from the skin, actually works against our body's built-in cooling system. You will produce more sweat uh, because the, the body is trying to fight against uh, this overheating. And if the, the sweat uh, cannot evaporate properly because you're wearing the, the wrong clothing, then it will produce more and more and more and more. We call that a vicious circle that uh, then at the end uh, will lead to a heat stroke, uh, like a heart attack. To test the theories at work in X-Bionic's revolutionary clothing system, we enlisted a man who has pushed the limits of human performance to unbelievable extremes. World record holding ultra triathlete, Vincenzo Catalano. In the blistering heat, it doesn't take long for Vincenzo to start sweating. And the X-Bionic clothing is also working hard. Here's what's happening. X-Bionic's researchers have developed a unique fabric that uses several techniques to keep an athlete cool. Rather than simply wick the sweat away from the skin, the X-Bionic fabric traps sweat in micro ducts. As the sweat travels through the ducts, it absorbs excess body heat and evaporates on the warm outer surface, releasing the excess heat away from the body. Some of this moisture condenses and is absorbed back into the skin in a cooler state. And panels of microducts are built in where the body produces the most sweat. The chest, armpits, and back. These panels help channel the remaining moisture and evaporation over a wider surface area on the skin, providing maximum cooling effects. In cold, wet conditions, the same channels that pump warm air away from the body in the blistering heat work like insulation. These micro channels trap warm air near the body. While exerting, the air warmed by the body is pumped out of the channels like a bellows. And this insulation keeps working when the workout is over. As soon as exertion slows or stops, the warm air is trapped against the body. X-Bionics design keeps the body warm, reducing the energy loss due to shivering and lowers the risk of muscle strains or tears after exercise. After cooling down and rehydrating, John enters the climate chamber again, but Go this ahead. time he's wearing X-Bionic gear. And the difference is quickly apparent. Doesn't feel nearly as hot. In the regular gear, his core body temperature shot up to 104 degrees. He used over 97% of his energy, just trying to keep cool and fail. But in the same brain-melting 125 degree heat, John's core temperature never climbs above 100 degrees, allowing him to use his energy for performance. An amazing difference, created simply by wearing the cutting edge clothing engineered by X-Bionic. So whether you're a world-class endurance athlete or a thoroughly average athlete, your performance can be improved if you wear a technology like X-Bionic, clothing that can turn sweat into energy.